So to be honest, I think this is probably the last update for this, this uh, video update for this project. Just because of the fact that even though I am working on it every day, I can't like justify like a daily a daily upload. That's why I only uploaded once last week, because uh, you know like for that. Um, but just in general, like you know, it doesn't really make much sense to install a couple parts and be like, hey, this is where I'm at. But uh, so, like I said, last one I'm gonna do for I think a while, and then uh, I think shit, I might not come back to shooting any more videos for the car until it's either like done or like I run into something that's noteworthy that I need to do oh um okay so I know when the next time will probably be uh I'm gonna put it on the, by the end of this week this car's gonna be on the jack stands and I'm gonna get ready to start you know putting the brake lines and um and the fuel lines I can't really buy right now I can't they're 220 dollars uh, I can't I can't buy anything until post Rona. Like uh, all the money that I made from VH Musings on in March, I pretty much spent on parts and shit. <laughs> so like I this I was still kind of in denial of how serious the fucking Corona thing was going to be on the economy. So I, I kind of poorly chose on the expenditures there. I mean I didn't go broke, but I'm broke enough where I can no longer buy anything else for the car. So um, I got the clips on. And yes, now it does shift properly, even though it's not fully bolted to the floor yet. Um, alternator's on now. And I'm debating on <clears throat> what I'm going to do with this, uh, whether I'm going to buy the swivel thermostat or not. It's like 26 bucks for a cheap one, so I might do that. Uh, I'm still pretty confident I can make that one work. It would just take like, you know, I could buy a hose and run it. And back loop it back to the fucking radiator, and it'd work. It'll, I mean, it'll work, but it'll just look ugly. So I don't know. I, I probably will buy the swivel thermostat just because why not? But the whole point of it is too. Why I'm think why I'm thinking about not doing it is just because I want to keep the um, I want to keep the fucking expenditures for the total for the swap down. Um, and I think also the K twenty eight three one may fit on there too. And it's a different size. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's not really important. So, um, just to let you know, for you guys that haven't really fucked with the pedals before, like the pedals attached to the brake booster and the the, the reservoir, the slaves reservoir. Um, so like that that was a little bit of a pain in the ass. Of course, it's not so much of a pain in the ass taking it off, but it is like getting it back in because, of course, there's studs going through both these to connect to the pedals. And uh, when you're upside down underneath the car, putting the pedals in, it's very disorientating. And it's, it's I mean, after, okay, so you think, oh, I, I'm adjusted to it now. I, it's not so bad. But then as soon as you start to write yourself, things that were difficult a minute ago are no longer difficult. Like getting the brake uh, and, and gas pedal back in place, I thought it was gonna be a mission because I had to drop the steering column and all that shit to get, the, to get it out. But uh, it wasn't, it wasn't that big of a deal to get it back in. It just like I thought it was, and I was struggling for a second. Then I kind of turned my body a little bit to where I was not so dizzy, <laughs> and I was able to click, click, clack it in place. But um, I did have to pull the brake booster out and the, the sleeve back out, push it all the way out to get the pedals in the place. And then once the pedals were relatively in place, come back out and push it through, and then like kind of delicately thread the nuts on. They're not 100%, you can see it's still hella loose. There's not 100% bolted in place. This is just like I said before, where it's mocked up, it's in the relative position, it'll be tightened down later. Uh, I'm trying to get home to watch Westworld with my wife, so I don't wanna spend too much time here, and I think it's already kinda of fucking late. So, trying to scramble. Uh, the K harness is over there. Like I said, I don't know how that's gonna work or fit, but I'm not at the point yet where I wanna put the harness in, and I'm not in a rush. I'm gonna test it out once I get further along where the long block is complete or everything's complete. And then uh, then I'll just test it out because I'm not gonna buy one anyway because people ask 250 bucks for the harness. I don't have 250 bucks to spend. So I'm still a good ways out from that. Um, on a super happy note, another reason why I spent so much time here for so little work is because I started digging through my stash again and I got my saw out or my grinder and I got a little scraper for the blocks at home and I got my paint remover, and I finally, oh, I almost gave up on it, but I finally found my fucking bits, and uh, most importantly, I found one of my fucking batteries. 
So I'm gonna take this home with me, take it to work tomorrow and charge it so that way I can actually drive the Integra, which is perfect timing too, because I got the fucking U-pipe in for the turbo kit. So now I'll have the U-pipe to complete the turbo kit and I'll have my battery so I can drive the Integra under its own power, make it not look so derelict anymore. And then uh, I will be able to swap out the hubs or whatnot, but man, it's gonna be cool. You should see like somewhat of a hobble drive of the Integra. It'll be a landmark thing. It's gonna be great. Uh, also, I vaguely remember having more jack stands. I, I had some silver, like silver and blue ones, but I'm not 100% sure if I brought them or left them. It's been six months. So right now what I'm doing is because I'm not in a rush to get these on jack stands, I'm gonna leave that there in the box for another night. And, and um, I'm gonna dig through my stash, see if I can't find those jack stands. Although, I don't know, there's, there's a good chance I could have left them because I'm a stupid cunt like that when I start moving shit. I was hoping I could find my vacuum caps, but I couldn't because um, I think my vacuum caps is the only thing I need to put on place before I can actually properly mount the manifold. And But I did find my little my little rings. What was those? The, you know what I'm fucking talking about. The straps, the clamps. There it is, clamps. <laughs> it's late, I'm tired. Okay, so... Yeah, also, I dug through the shit pile in my car, in the back of the hatch, and I did find the pedals, and it was more than just a clutch pedal. As a matter of fact, it was two different clutch pedals, and one's four bolt, one's two bolt, so I guess one of them might be from EK or whatnot. Supposedly, they all fit each other, you know. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have two extra bolt holes, but whatever. Um, and then I found, uh, so I found extra clutch, and then the brake and gas pedal that they have in here are, like, separated. And it's just uh, just a gas pedal, no brake pedal. So I don't know. So that's a scrap pile. I, I did. I'm kicking myself in the ass a little bit because I, I spent sixty bucks at the fucking junkyard to get the pedals because I got charged for a core fee and all that shit. Like I looked on the on the I looked on the fucking uh, the website and it said like twenty three dollars for the pedal assembly. So that's what I was expecting to spend, but they charged me sixty. Fucking cunts. And then I found an asshole. Literally, I posted the day after I bought those. Posted the fucking pedal assembly for 20 bucks. So anyway, I want to buy them anyway Just because of the fact that there's always a possibility that I could buy an auto car Because I think case swaps are definitely something I'll be doing more I'm itching and burning to do another one Like I haven't even got I'm nowhere near finished with this shit yet But I'm already wanting to get another shell and start on another project. I've got a fucking addiction problem <laughs> And uh, this is the 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 K twenty eight three I have that I wanted to convert to VTech killer, and I was like, "Well, I can we just do it right now?" But then I forgot I still got a notch fucking uh, rocker arms to do that, so that's another thing. But uh, that's that's on the back burner. I'm not in a rush to do that, but maybe in the near future, because there's too many times where I think, "Oh, well, if I just do this with an engine, it'll sell," and then it doesn't, and then I spent the time for nothing. So um, yeah, not in a rush for that. Um, let's see, one of these, one of my K twenty eight three intake manifolds. I chewed up to get off. You see, it's cut up real bad there. So I figured, I mean, maybe I could still use that because the recess is still deep enough where it could, it'll probably still seal. But I don't know for sure. So I'm just gonna call it a loss and scavenge it for parts. Uh, the throttle body, I I, I was dumb. I wasn't. I, I thought they were drive by drive by uh, drive by um, cable. But then I looked at it the other day and I couldn't see the, the fucking cable thingy. I was like, ah, maybe I was wrong and it's not. But I looked at it again and it's just hidden behind the shields. So it, it does have the uh, throttle cables on there. So I figure that's also something I'm gonna do later on in the week. Uh, I'm gonna bring my impact guns and make that easier to take off and get that throttle body off and then uh, see if I can port match it to the intake manifold. See if I can port the intake manifold and the throttle body. I mean, every millimeter counts, right? I think the stock uh, throttle body is like 62 millimeters. And um, yeah, I think it's 62. And like the 70 millimeter is like the one to go with. Because apparently that's as big as you can open up the uh, throttle or the, uh, what's that shit called? The uh, intake manifold. So if it's 62, and let's say I can bore it out to 65. Yeah, what's five millimeters? Two horsepower? <laughs> so um, yeah, it's coming along. Coming along pretty well, slow and steady. I'm ready to come out, man. I'm, I'm ready to do this shit. I'm so ready to be involved. Um, and coronavirus may have been something to just uh, help me out, stall for time. Uh, I want this car 
on the road this year. I, I, I say this year, but I really want to get it done by the summer. And I think uh, if once the economy bounces back at post Rona, and if I was making, if I can keep making even half the money I was making from the shop uh, last month, then I think there's a no reason why this can't be done by the summer. Uh, it's I no longer have a problem with coming out here. Like it's not hard. I don't battle with myself to say, oh, I'm gonna go to the shop tonight. Maybe I should just do it tomorrow. I've been. It's easy for me to come out here. I'm actually, like I said before, super excited to be out here doing this shit. Oh, I mean, I, I fucking jumping for joy, excited, but I'm I'm happy and I'm hungry to be out here, and um, making uh, making steady progress every time more shit comes on, more shit goes on the car, and uh, yeah, if I could if I could have moved at the same kind of pace as I did with the Integra, it would have been done forever ago. And you probably can't see. I know the light's bad, but I can see it glistening in the camera. The pedals are in, so. Slow and steady to win this race. And VHP engines will be on the track with an all-motor K this year. And hopefully, uh, I said that the, the Integra will be running running and driving in April. That still is true. But uh, I don't think I'm going to be ready to tune until next, next month. And that's at the earliest, just because that, again, falls back to economy. Uh, I think Eddie charges 350 to tune. And um, I don't have an extra three hundred fifty dollars to spend. Uh, I don't even have an extra one hundred fifty dollars to spend. So the tune's got to wait for a while. The super most important most thing is though is that the Integra will be able to drive around. So if I need to maneuver it around my yard, uh, it won't be a big deal. And uh, it'll be cool to have the Integra, you know, quote unquote, done. Just waiting for tune. Been waiting for a long time to get to that point, and I think it's gonna happen. This in yeah, a couple weeks ago. Um, it could happen this week. I mean, I, now that I got my saw, I can cut the fucking bumper and throw that on. And then I just need to switch out the hubs. So for sure, the intercooler will be 100% in place this weekend. And I will have uh, the car driving under its own power this weekend. And then uh, we'll see if I have enough oomph in me to get the fucking get the uh, hub switched out mm, yeah I guess that's really all I can talk about tonight guys I don't really have much else much else going on um, this I know this wow this looks fucking terrible guys oh I have no idea what I'm going to do about this this is so much fucking shit and there's so little space and I guess uh, part of the reason why I left it like this guys is because I wasn't know if I was going to stay here or not I think it's safe to say at this point that I am going to stay here so uh with that being the case I'll probably see about getting a ladder and see if I can put all my lightweight stuff up there yeah I, I really really just would like to see what's going to happen next uh, month or so once we get hopefully we get into May we'll get past this lockdown bullshit and um, then we can see how life's going to be and see how my expenditures are going to go because if I am going to stay here for another six months or so or whatnot and if I can still continue to make good money off the HP engines then I would still like to turn this into an office space and I would still like to build engines here even though I can I've you know I'm going to have a car here and also I was thinking about it too you know despite the fact that I want to make this a race car or I am making this a race car uh, I think that at the end of the day, the only thing that's going to stop me from being able to put this on the fucking road is just going to be wipers. So I, there is a chance that I might fucking register the goddamn car or whatnot and have it drivable. I don't know. It's got a full, full size fuel tank still. And even if I do on E85, E85 is right down the street for me. Oh, I guess there's one thing I could ask you guys real quick. Hopefully some of you guys have made it to the end of the video. Uh, anybody recognize this prop valve? Yeah, this seems like something I could use for this car. You know? Maybe. I don't know. If somebody knows, let me know. If not, I'm going to try it anyway. I just don't know how that, or, uh, you know, I don't know how orientation works. Maybe it's like this. I don't know. I'll figure it out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I know it was long and rambly, but like I said, this is probably going to be the last one I do for a while. Um, with that being said, too, I'm probably going to get back to my regular talkie sitting in front of the, uh, the camera videos here shortly i've just been super focused on the car side so that's kind of taken up all my extra time so I don't, my extra time that i would normally have to sit and talk and film has been gone um 
Guys, I have, I thought I had four of these, but I got two more sitting here. I got a fuck ton of base model heads that we can do VTEC killer with. Um, so if anybody's interested in doing that, like I said, we can do $100 down payment and you can finish the payments post Rona. I have a uh, whole bunch of, well, not a whole bunch. I have three sets of cams and three sets of RBC cam gears, but I don't want to get rid of all of them. I'll just do two. Two and two are available for sale. All right, guys. Uh, social media links are in the description down below. Patreon is there if you want to sign up for discounts. Uh, it won't count towards discount to your down payment, but it will count for a discount overall. Uh, as little as $1 a month can get you 10% discount off all your purchases. So if the basic setup for this head is $470, knock off 10%. That's, I think that's pretty fair. And also, if you're local guys, the shipping shipping will get uh the shipping total will get pulled out of your tally as well so guys patreon and local buying will help you out a lot all right guys thanks for watching and peace